What we've got here is a pumpkin plant that was kindly just given to me by Mike, who has several of them growing. Both of us are running out of room, so he's offered me one. So I've turned it into a bit of a competition with him. A bit silly because he hasn't given me any of his magic steroids infused growth hormone <laughs> that he clearly uses to grow most of his vegetables. <laughs> so this is a giant pumpkin variety. I'm not sure what the variety is. I'm not sure um, how big it's gonna get, but what we're gonna do is we haven't got the room basically to put it in a bed or in the ground. But what I have got is over there, can you see the two large black containers? Well, they was actually uh, water butts, I do believe, that the neighbour on this side used to, uh, well, basically used them as, as flower pots, didn't he? He had loads of flowers in there, but he's got rid of them now and he was going to take them to the tip. So I said, no, I'll have them. And I've been using them to store manure. Now you can actually grow pumpkins in, you know, pretty much just manure. So what I'm going to do is, because <laughs> you're going to need a big container if you want a big pumpkin, is I'm going to tip out the manure onto this sheet that I've put down uh, put some drainage in the bottom, some drainage holes as well, some larger ones. Uh, and then we can top up with some compost, we can put some of our own special feed in as well. And then basically see if we can get a bigger pumpkin than more. <laughs> but I mean already, look at this. You know, the size of that is giving me some sort of indication as to the size of the pumpkin this is capable of producing. Now as many of you long term subscribers know, for the last, what, four years I've grown giant pumpkins successfully one of which I even won a competition first place. So, but this year, I think it's due to the fact that we moved here, you know, and, and did so much so quick, I didn't get the opportunity to put any pumpkin seeds in. So yeah, we was a little bit disappointed, me and Kelly, but luckily Mike's come over and we've got this one. Now we have only got one plant, so we really got to look after this one. And I say that because, you know, normally when we've gone in growing pumpkins, we've had 20 plants or thereabouts. So yeah, we got one shot at this, so we're gonna give it everything we've got. We're gonna look after this and then we'll try and train it. Once the potatoes are done, we're trying to time this really well. All the potatoes are lined up behind me. We've got maybe 30 containers in total. Um, they've got maybe, you know, one month to 40 days left and they'll all be out. So that will free up that area of the plot. So the idea is to, to put this in there. Don't let it, you know, attach itself to anything yet. And then once the potatoes are done, we can, we can push it back along the fence and possibly train it along that half of the allotment and let it get as big as possible. Now I do know a few tips and tricks along the way to try and maximize the size of a pumpkin. So as this thing grows, I will update, you know, possibly even weekly, because these things do grow rapidly. And, um, and yeah, we'll see what kind of results we get at the end of it. But for now, we're just gonna get it in, we're gonna give it a drink, and we're gonna just set it aside until the potatoes are done. So if we go down here, we'll do that next. That ain't gonna be big enough, is it? <laughs> I think we're gonna need two sheets. Oh no, we might be alright. Drainage holes. This was a water butt, but uh, he, he got rid of all the, the fixtures and fittings for it. So there's holes actually all over this thing. So yeah, I'm not basically ruining it by putting in more holes. We're gonna utilize it. It would have ended up in the tip. So anyway, let's go see if this will work. We could do some on the corners as well.
quite thick, isn't it? Now we have actually asked Mike what he feeds his plants with. He always says the same thing, just a little bit of tomato feed. <laughs> what do you reckon? I think he's got some magic potion that he's not telling us about. <laughs> You've heard of magic Mike. <laughs> yeah. It's not as you know it. <laughs> no. Few more than that because I don't I wouldn't want it sitting in you know stagnant water so I think we'll just double up on the holes um, and then we'll come back when that's done. And then we're gonna need something in the bottom for drainage and what I'm thinking to use is some of the bits and pieces that I've smashed off of the trees and Bits and bits. I'll, just, I'll gather it and I'll show you. I've just thrown it all away, haven't I? Hang on. Yeah, boy. Right, so what I've got in this bag here is bits of tree, bits of shrub, bits of root but um, nothing weedy. And this is from doing my back garden at home. I was gonna smash it all up and chop it really fine and use it as compost, but for something you know that requires drainage, this is gonna be ideal. And like I say, it's just bits of, bits of stick, bits of twig, and um, nothing that's really gonna, there's no cooch grass, there's no bind weed, there's no thistles, there's nothing like that in there. But um, it will give absolutely brilliant drainage. And I guess we're still sort of composting it in a way. So um, yeah, and what I've done is I've left this half manure. This is manure the whole way down, if you can see. So what I'm gonna do is just try and give this a bit of a stir and, um, and then we'll top it up. Light firm down. <laughs> and I'll just go and get some compost and we can bring this level up a little bit and um, we'll put some feed in as well. Secret feed. What 
what I've got in here is just regular plain old multi-purpose compost and underneath you saw the manure and you saw the very fibrous uh, woody stems that is going to be our natural drainage and that means that by the time this plant is done this will all be spent compost there'll be no plastic there'll be no bricks there'll be nothing in there cheers mike <laughs> so yeah what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the center before we do that we're going to add some of this potting on mix it's really it's really sort of dense it's uh it holds on to the moisture this is very very dry it's been inside the polytunnel but once wet it really does retain moisture uh a bit better than the multi-purpose so we'll just go in with some of that in the center that'd be really good stuff mix that in a little bit into that we're going to put some of our seaweed uh, fertilizer pellets we're not measuring anything these are hungry plants and we're just going to go straight in in the center and then a few around the outside just for when the roots do go out and just stir that in as well and then what we want is a pumpkin plant He's done really well to get it to this stage, isn't he? Yeah. Really well. I think what we'll do is we'll take off the yellowing leaves because I can't see them recovering and turning, you know, vibrant green again. So we'll take them off and that'll give the, the plant the sort of direction to say, okay, we'll concentrate on these ones up here. And we'll literally sit that in the centre. And before we cover it over, we've got some of these pot shots, which are... Uh, tomato feed and you can feed you know many plants with tomato feed including pumpkins so we're just going to push we're going to go for three of these just around the uh, the outside of the root ball we'll just push them down and what's left in there we'll just sprinkle around the root happy with the placement yep and we'll just go straight over planting it to the same depth Mike had it in the pot. And we want to give this a really good firm down because this is, it, this is its final position. And then going forward, the way, one of the tips that I've learned to get your biggest pumpkins is to, to bury the main stem that's carrying the fruit. So when this starts producing, if we get to that stage, fingers crossed with our weather, I'm gonna remove the first pumpkin and that will send the plant into shock and it will start to produce a new pumpkin, which is normally bigger than the first one because the plant uh, is in, it's in danger basically. So you'll always get a bigger pumpkin, in my experience, if you take off the first one. And the second thing to do is to bury the stem. Like I say, the main stem that carries the fruit, if you bury the stem underneath the leaves, you'll encourage new roots to come out. Because we're doing it in a, in a basically a, a giant plant pot, we're gonna use the second pot, if we need to, to bury the stem. So it might work, it might not. This would need to have, this would need to grow out of the pot and then we'd have to train it up again. So, you know, depending on how heavy this is and what it actually climbs onto, if it's possible, we will bury the stem. If not, we'll just leave it be. But yeah, for now, we'll just keep this weed free. We'll water it every six weeks and we'll update you, you know, as the weeks go on and we'll see how big, how big this thing will get. So cheers, Mike. Competition's on. Loser buys a beer. <laughs> Really good water. How you doing, all right? Good, mate. 
Yeah, it's all going well, mate. Yeah, really good. Really happy. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? All right? Yeah. I've got one as well. <laughs> the reason for what we're in the whole thing is to basically condense it down and pack it down where there was the sticks and the twigs there could be air holes air pockets so the idea of watering the whole thing is to kind of make, make it all a little bit heavier so that it kind of sinks down ever so slightly and gets rid of the air pockets so that the root doesn't enter you know a, a, an atmosphere where there's no compost so yeah two cans 20 liters of water i wouldn't even know what to tell you in regards to how big this pot was um if that's a 30 liter pot this is a 300 <laughs> so there we go i'm going to try and drag it drag it out the way just so i can get my van out and um and yeah we'll update you as this thing grows it's exciting stuff cheers guys thank you very much for watching if you're not subscribed subscribe and i'll see you when the pumpkins grow <laughs>